Hey what's up guys and welcome to another China phone tutorial. So today I want to show you how to find out the true hardware specifications of your phone. As many China phones come with fake hardware specifications like the HTC S4 comes with a fake Exynos CPU and mostly it only has a MTK6589 quad core CPU or a dual core CPU. And today I want to show you how to find out what CPU you have. Therefore you will need to have a computer and a USB cable to connect your phone to the computer. The download link for all the software used in this tutorial is in the description so be sure to check it out and download it. And if you have problems or if you just want to read more about China phones be sure to visit my new website which is www.chinadevices.com. And now let's start the tutorial. So before we go to the computer, you have to enable USB debugging mode on your phone and I will now show you how to do this. So unlock your phone and then go to the main menu and go to apps. Here go to settings and at settings you have to go to the tab more and scroll down until you can see about phone. Now you have to scroll down until you can see build number and now you have to tap seven times at build number to enable developer settings. Okay, so you are now a developer and now just go back and now you will see here at the bottom developer options. Now here in the dev options you have to scroll down to debugging and here you will find USB debugging. Now make sure that it is enabled so that the box right to USB debugging is ticked, that means it is enabled and we will need USB debugging that the tool we are using recognizes the phone correctly. When you have done that you can go to the computer. So when you have enabled USB debugging mode you can go to your computer and download all the necessary files. So first you will need the USB drivers and those are very important because if the USB drivers are not installed correctly then MTK Droid tools will not detect your phone. Then second you will also need MTK Droid tools, prefer able the latest version which is currently 2.5.2 and as always the download link to all the stuff is in the description so be sure to check it out and download it. Further you will also need to have WinRAR on your PC or any other unzipping program because you will download zip files and you have to extract them. When you have um, downloaded and installed WinRAR just do a right click on the USB driver um, .zip file and then you go to extract here and this will give you the folder with the USB drivers. Okay so now we can start um, with the um, reading process and therefore we will just connect the phone to the computer with the USB cable. Once again be sure that USB debugging mode is enabled and there we go. Okay so maybe you will see here installing drivers or driver installation failed but just ignore that and go to start. Now you go to control panel and now you go to system, where is it here? And then you go to the device manager. Okay, so now you will see Android device and maybe Android composite ADB interface. If you don't see this, then you will maybe see MTK or something with a yellow triangle. And what you have to do now is you do a right click on the new device and go to update driver software. Now you go to browse my computer for driver software. And now you have to point to the folder which contains the USB drivers, so the folder you have extracted earlier. And it's the USB driver folder which is right here on my desktop. So I will choose that here, go to OK and then you just go to Next. Then it maybe will automatically install the Android Composite ADB interface. But if it does not do that and you get a list of drivers and you have to pick one, be sure to pick the Android Composite ADB interface driver. Okay, so when you have done that, you can close it. You can also go out of the device manager. And now we can start MTK Druid tools. Therefore, just go into the folder you have downloaded. Do a right click on the MTK Druid tools.exe file. Then go to run as administrator. And now MTK Druid tools should load up. Okay, so now just wait a second. This can also freeze. And after a few seconds, you should see the phone information. So just wait a bit. And now you can see your true phone specifications. So hardware tells you now your SOC, your system on chip. So this phone is using the MT6589T SOC. Here you can also see the model number, build number, Android version, baseband. You can see your emails and you can do so many things with MTK Droid tools. Also in the next tutorials I will show you some other stuff like how to backup your ROM, how to root your ROM, then how to delete China apps and much much more. Also, if you have questions, if something is not clear, be sure to visit chinadevices.com and I will try to help you as soon as possible. Also, stay tuned for my next tutorials where I will show you some advanced usage of the MTK Droid tools. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in my next videos. Bye bye.